Hello and welcome to AskStevie.com, the world's most interactive personal development website on the planet. Positive thinking is a fantastic thing, but I take, teach here realistic thinking, real thinking and practical tips for actually getting your life on track and staying on track. The difference between positive thinking and real thinking is this. In positive thinking, you look at your garden, for instance, and you would say, there is no weeds, there is no weeds, there is no weeds. Even though your garden may be full of weeds. But in real thinking, you look at your garden in real terms, you know what you want your garden to look like, as in you know what fruits and flowers you want to plant in your garden, what shrubs and beautiful trees you want to have in your garden, what you want to cultivate in your life. And you recognise that there are weeds. And you grab those weeds by the base and rip them out by the root. So cultivate your garden today Rip the weeds out by the root. Recognise that there are some changes in your life that you need to make. Recognise there are some weeds in your garden. And today, go out into your garden and rip them out by the root. Rip those limiting beliefs out by the root and throw them away. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Hello and welcome to Ask Stevie, the number one most interactive personal development website on the planet. Mind is the master power that moulds and makes. And ever more we take the tool of thought and shaping what we will brings forth a thousand joys or a thousand ills. We think in secret but it comes to pass. Our environment is but our looking glass. That was written by James Allen back in 1903 in a wee small book called As a Man Thinketh. And what James Allen is saying in that book is he's saying that our circumstances in life are reflected by the way we have been thinking up onto this point. We think in secret, but it comes to pass. Our environment is but our looking glass. If we want to have change in our life, if we want to change the results in our outer life, we must first of all work with our inner being, with our inner self, to change those thoughts. And there's another little extract that I'm going to read from this book that you can think about today as well, by James Allen. And it says... Dream lofty dreams, and as you dream, so shall you become. Your vision is the promise of what you shall one day be. Your ideal is the prophecy of what you shall last unveil. The greatest achievement was at first and for a time a dream. The oak sleeps in the acorn, the bird waits in the egg, and in the highest vision of the soul a waking angel stirs. Dreams are the seedlings of realities. Your circumstances may be uncongenial, but they shall not long remain so if you but perceive an ideal and strive to reach it. You cannot travel within and stand still without. So my friends, dream and believe. Plant that seed in the mind and look after it each and every day and you will see your success right in front of your eyes. Thanks for watching. And if anyone wants to get uh, this book, it's As a Man Thinketh uh, by James Allen. It'll cost you maybe about $10, 7 euro, 6 pounds. Okay, thank you, all the best, bye. Hello and welcome to AskStevie.com, the most interactive personal development website on the planet. Today I am going to speak with you about commitment. 
because I am making a commitment today, something that I'm going to do every single day and I'm totally committed to it. Have you ever heard about the, the difference between the hen and the pig in your breakfast? If you're having a breakfast to fry, um, there's an Irish breakfast here, most people have a fry, bacon, egg and sausage. Well the difference between the hen and the pig at breakfast time is that the hen made a contribution with the egg, but the pig made a commitment. The pig put his ass on the line, he made a total commitment, and there's a slice of him on your plate. Now today I am going to make a commitment to teach a success lesson every single day and put it onto YouTube so that we can all learn from it. So what is it today that you're committing to do? What is it today that you, one thing that you're going to totally commit to do and you're going to do this one thing every single solitary day of your life? Because the difference in how being interested in something and committing to something is massive. Just being interested in something, you eventually will lose it when something more interesting comes along. But being totally committed to something, totally committed to doing one thing each and every day, that's where you're going to get your results from. So think, what is it you're committed to, to doing? Think about Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison was totally committed to getting the electric light bulb to work. Otherwise, he wouldn't have persisted 10,000 times. So again, write down one thing that you're totally committed to doing each and every single day until you feel that you've got it mastered. It could be something in your relationships. It could be to do with your career. It could be to do with your health anything you choose it but write it down and commit to it thanks for watching see you soon bye hello and welcome to askstevie.com the world's most interactive personal development website today i'm going to read out a brief poem it's for everybody that's struggling out there maybe getting things a wee bit harder today and they need a little bit of inspiration to keep on moving forward and the poem's called don't you quit when things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you are trudging seems all uphill, when funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to smile but you have to say, when cure is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Life is queer with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns, and many a failure turns around, when he might have won had he stuck it out. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow, you may succeed, with another blow. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint of the clouds of doubt. And you never can tell how close you are, it may be near when it seems so far. So stick to the fight when you're hardest hit, and when things seem worse, you must not quit. Thanks for watching, and if you want to get uh, print out your own copy of that poem, I'm going to stick it onto the website. Uh, for everybody so you go to www.askstevie.com and get your copy of that poem and stick it up on your wall and we need that little bit of inspiration it'll be there for you to read out thanks for listening bye